everyone and welcome back to Piano Secrets. In this video we're gonna work on the song Corazón de Niño and we're gonna get started with the melody. The melody it follows a G minor chord or scale which we have these notes G, A, B flat, C and D and the chord for it will be the G, B flat, D. So the melody what it does is drop from D to G all the way down. And then it's gonna go to a C. So we have the D, C, B flat, A, and G, and then a C. That will be the first melody. If we try to add the chords to it, we could play on the left hand the same chord, the G minor chord that we did. Same three notes, G, B flat, D. And what we do is match the D with the whole chord. Okay. Now when we get to G, we're gonna change to C major. So we'll have these two notes only. G minor, C major, So you will concentrate first on matching the D, the G with the C major chord, and then the C. It's true that eventually you could break these chords and do it in this way. So we have this also. It's true that at the beginning I recommend you match each chord with the notes and then eventually split the left hand. Second melody now, we're gonna have an F major scale and chord. Those are the notes, F, G, A, B flat, C. Now we do kind of the same pattern starting on C and then we go five notes higher to B flat. Because we have F major here, we also place an F major chord on the left hand. And now we'll change once we get to F to a B flat chord, which will be D, F, B flat. Match. The third melody we have. And that will be the end. So we go all the way down, fourth finger on the black key. We don't want to put fifth, that will cramp uh, the fingers a little bit too much. So we'll start on the F major scale going down to E, jump to A, a fourth again, one, two, three, four, C sharp, and D. Left hand, we have a G minor seven that chord and we'll match it with the B flat we flip once we get to E we'll go to an A major A E A we jump to A we play again A major and then D the D minor ninth here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll do it one last time for you. So G minor seven, A major, A major again, and the D minor ninth. Now I'm gonna play it the introduction all together. So we'll have this, very slow I'm gonna go. G minor to C major. F major now. 
to B flat, G minor 7, A major, and D minor. Now, it's true, I said at the beginning, you could split the left hand. So rather than playing each chord, you could do, break it down this way. Hold it there, C major. Hold it there, F major. B flat, G minor seven. A major and then D minor ninth. If you put it together pretty much all the notes match and then, then you could have common sense in putting it together. So first three note match and if you have some other left you just put the left hand right after. So let me show you. That's the introduction. Very sweet, by the way. Match, match, match by itself. Now we're gonna match on, C, on G. Match again. F major. Match the three notes. The first three notes. Match. Match on G minor. Match. And match. That will be the introduction. Now we're gonna go to the most famous part, which reminds me a lot of, uh, of a prelude by Bach. So we're, we're gonna do this. A is gonna always be in it. And what we do to the A is add a scale going down. And now when we add the A, we'll have these fingers. You place it kind of in a D minor position, also D minor scale. Now if we move them around, we'll have this. So we move it back and forth. We only change the fingers when we run out, once we get to the thumb. Okay, as far as what the left hand does, uh, we're gonna do a D minor ninth, and that's it. It's true that we could complicate more this arrangement, but I think you should get the basics, and then uh, you could go on your own maybe and add more notes to it. So if we play it from here, you're gonna wait until you get to F to start matching each single note. Uh, I show you what I mean. So we go A G. A, and now we match. Each single note. So from F. Okay. A little bit faster. Okay. Now once we get to uh, D, we're going to put a B flat. With a ninth to it. And that's all we do. B flat, F, B flat, C, and D. And if we play both, now we're gonna repeat the same pattern on G now, starting on G, and what we use is uh, C major notes. We do the same thing, C major all those notes and what we do is on G we drop so it's important you put second and B flat and that's it now the same way that we did this one we'll do when we get to E when we get to E we're gonna match each one of them match 
And here we're gonna change to an F over A, which will play A on the bass. And we'll have those notes. A, F, A, C, F. We keep dropping now. That will be the last one. Here we're gonna put the B flat ninth that we did. Okay. So on the left hand we'll have B flat ninth. G minor, F over A, and D. Now I show you the right hand now. We'll have all the way down. Okay, we'll put two arpeggios there. Match. have this and then the song starts over with the same thing Maybe what I do now is play it very slow, the uh, both hands together, and that way you could take a look. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoy it subscribe leave comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you very much